What's up YouTube, my name is Anthony and welcome back to episode 2 of the Blind Animal Crossing New Horizons playthrough. Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm genuinely so happy to be finally experiencing this. Like I've been asking people questions and trying to learn more about the games. Um, my plan is to eventually play the GameCube version, you know, one of the older ones, eventually because uh, it's part of the... Uh, Oh, excuse me. Part of the library of uh, GameCube games I have to play, so that'll be fun. Alright, so when I last saved, I was getting a phone, like, notification thing. You're enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. Earn uh, Nook Miles for completing island activities. Parks and Goods Index Show, okay. You traveled a long way just to move to our little island and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage Program, so you earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. Learning how to fish is an essential skill. Now oh, I'm just looking at them. Chatting with residents, catching a bug, and fishing. There we go. Uh, dear Hindrance, thank you for downloading the update. Oh, this is like straight up from Nintendo. Switch and a simple DIY workbench. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, well, uh, I don't really know what to do because it seems like most people rightfully are sleeping. Ah, Hendrens, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. If you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. What about the workshop? Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. It will be quite useful for island life, so I shall put you down for the next available session. Sure. That's the island spirit having to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Welcome to my workshop. Overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. Today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere. For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. Of course. I could have grabbed one more. <coughs> one more on my way and already gotten started. Found the necessary materials hindrance? 
Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Flimsy fishing rod. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. And that, and that concludes my free workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common recipes for you. Do it yourself, uh, free of charge. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Nice. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. So we can make a net and a campfire. Yeah! Okay. I caught a sea bass. No way, it's at least a C plus. Oh well, I was hoping to find one more tree branch, but what would you like to talk to me about? Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a sea bass. Hmm, if this island can support a sea bass, why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living in. Hindrance, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your sea bass. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Critterpedia. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward. Hmm? I really want to clear out this tree. Maybe I can use that cardboard box as a little table for now. Right in the corner. Campfire. Portable radio.
I caught an empty can. Aren't you supposed to catch the fish before you can it? This empty can should be repurposed. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Yes, I caught a dace. Hope I have some space. <laughs> That's three. Three kinds of fish. Another days. Let's show them our, our findings, our fish findings. Hindrance, hello, what would you like to talk to me about? Oh, splendid, let's have a look. Oh, what a catch, I do believe this is a loach. Would you mind if I sent this museum Magnificent creature along to my museum curating friend as well. Thank you, I promise that I'll take extra good care of your loge. By the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? That's great. Come to think of it, I have seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me, I've been sharing, meaning to share some more DIY, DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Yes, sir. I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with the recipe to craft an axe. Yes, yes, I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island. Because so many other things are made of wood, hmm? I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. I do have another one. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a dace. Would you mind if I sent this along to my friend? Sure. Take extra good care. Proper reward for you this time. Oh, man. Tom has given me a red hyacinth bag. Just a little sampling of a product we sell. Go ahead and do some planting. After a few days, you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. Give it a whirl, and if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience, yeah. Come on. Yes. Yes, I caught a horse mackerel. Of course, mackerel. Nice. I, I like catching new things. I actually love fishing, so I'm glad that's a big part of this game. Yes. Yes, I caught a black bass, the most metal of all fish. <laughs> nice. Now I know I actually had a fish too. There's another one. Oh no, it's the end of the line for my trusty flimsy fishing rod. Damn, that sucks. I was really angling them here. Break your first hole, 300 points. Well, I got two more to show Tom, and then I think we'll probably wrap things up here, because it is late. It's fun as hell, but it is late.
Hold the phone, someone's calling. Blathers, is that you? Oh, what splendid timing. Yes, yes, do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Night Raid. Yes, yes, the local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm hmm How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet, but I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Mm -hmm. What? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates a museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Ah, uh, but I could use your help, Hindrance. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to f help find a spot for Blathers? We need a good-sized space to really build out a world-class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting. It's all coming together. Yes, yes. Blathers can set up his place now. Ah, oh, Henry, so take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up, hmm? I know I could count on you, thank you. I'll let Blathers know that he can move in as soon as he wants. In any case, you just got here, so I'd hate to see you push yourself too far on day one. But it's no fur off my nose if you want to rack up those nook miles and pay me back quickly. I've got a few tips for racking up the old nook miles, so don't hesitate to ask if you need a little advice. Nice. I'm already like halfway there. And keep fishing, but we don't have our fishing rod anymore. Anyway. I'm gonna call it a night for now. We'll pick this up tomorrow morning because it'll be real time. and Hopefully I'll be able to get some tree branches uh, so I can proceed because that's what I need now. I broke everything else and I'm out of tree branches, so. This is so much fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry it's late and I'm not as uh, energetic as I'd like to be. Plus I don't want to wake up the missus, so. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.